As we're about to hop into the elimination semifinals here at the mid-season championship, Hughes versus Wes. Let's see who comes out on top. It's a battle for the podium. We'll see who can get it as Hughes once again onto the Aloe card, wants to be that vampire to defeat Wes. And it's interesting too, man. We've seen a lot of Rayman this weekend, right? Definitely slamming down that spot in the meta saying i'm here to stay but you i mean the oh. double am i getting all this damage with that orb we've seen a lot of orb too this weekend i mean moonier jeff right you know we had quite a few of those but we'll see what ends up happening here i mean you's definitely in the driver's seat right now but as you were saying before wes does have the advantage by two games in the lifetime set count but they've played like over 50 times so <laughs> that, that's kind of wild I am really curious how much the SIGs are going to come into play for Yu's, uh, just comparing it to his uh, earlier match against Impala. Like, he was really utilizing that sword SIG, like, almost to the point where I was, like, insulted for Impala. Yeah, you know, I believe it, too, because I feel like uh, it's interesting. Uh, Wes also a pretty big SIG user, and I remember one of my earliest memories of Wes on Axe is actually when he first whipped out. Yo, oh, yeah, you got taken spiked. out. <laughs> it's a goodbye. <laughs> Yeet. Right to the KO box and there. The pit. I love that SIG. That's definitely one of the cooler ones in the game, for sure. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, Wes got six of his own, like you said. More than willing to throw those out. He's been off, he's doing the, uh, he's been doing the gravity cancel side sig off stage a lot, but still will do it on stage as well. Cause that's what I was gonna talk about, his vocal. His vocal oh, was yeah. an absolute abomination. He was cooking <laughs> people with that. He was mashing that sick button like it was something he was trying to just eat for breakfast, you know what I mean? But now he's in here on the Rain Man and he's getting beautiful conversions with these gauntlets. You're like, all right, fine. Okay, I guess you don't have to play vocal the way you're doing it. On the other side, Use his sword. He plays Jin Yun. It's not like you don't know how to play sword. And on top of that, you're going to have that end sig on orb, which is just like basically a light attack. You know, you just mash it, covers right above you. Exceptionally strong tool to have in your arsenal. Yo, I oh. say some stuff and you, you got to follow me on this one. I think Yu's is playing sword the way kind of plays Axe, where he stays very grounded yes. and lets the opponent burn a lot of movement. And then once they come in, oh. close, hits him with that neutral light. Almost got jump scared by West there, but I follow. I, I agree. I feel like Yu's especially, you know, I always say like death by a thousand cuts is kind of a way that you can play sword. Uh, and I think Megdi's also really good at it, where sometimes you just got to KO somebody with F-Light. You know, yep. sometimes you just got to pop out and show them. So hopefully this time around, we'll see if kind of Yu's is going to be able to maybe get the stock lead here. He's trailing by a little bit, goes for that end sig. It doesn't quite connect. West responds with an end light of his own. Oh, ooh, a D light. I thought it was going to be an end light. He got me mixed up. Well, unfortunately, the mix-up didn't lead to much there. West now with that stage control. Not going to throw out the down sigs just yet. Waiting oh. For oh, he got past it for the neutral light to connect. Yeah, was able to like get in that like uh, kind of blind zone. spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where it's like, oh, it goes a little bit further, but I'm in your face right now, so uh, let's get personal. Ooh, and you're gonna get the conversion into the recovery. It's yeah, not well. enough. Oh, it always feels like it should like lead to a KO because you press the sick button to lead into it, yeah. but oh, he drops. Okay. How's he gonna finish it? Another recovery, still not enough. He needs to get to that final blow here on the West, and it's going to be a Nair of all I things. I know, right? Like, he was like, I just did two recoveries, nothing. But a Nair, yeah, that's the one that got the, the enough force to do it. I'm mean, all happy for him, though. He was able to get the stock. He tried to start West there and couldn't quite get the other weapon in time, so kind of ended up in a bad spot. Odin's blessing, though, always here with the assist. Ooh. I love the patience there from West. Kind of fast fell down, jump Nair to get that third hit onto use. Ooh. <laughs> and they're, they are willing to get close, but they're willing to not press a button, too. They'll just look at each other. They'll hug each other. They'll dap each other up and walk by. But pressing that attack button, they're not going to press unless they are sure. Oh! What a call out from West. Throwing out the down sig, long active frames, and use just throws his entire body bat form into it. And this is, this is why people don't like playing against Rayman, man. It's <laughs> because you always got to respect the down six. It don't matter which weapon he's on, whether it's the axe or the gloves. But then you also got to think about like, oh, the past like three, four times I came up from the side of the stage. They didn't press the button. I think I'm good. And then the one time you think you're good, I'm going to do an aggressive play. You're eating a bunch of boxing gloves in your face. And also that's why Demon Island is such a good map for Rayman as well. Like it is a very very short wall. If there was a longer wall map, Muse doesn't have to go so high and get caught by that. Oh man, we got to swap over to Mr. Yoga himself too. So this is gonna be, uh, you know, a little bit same same legend, but you know, just a different, I a guess. Different uh, yeah, different fit. Yeah. Different fit. Yeah. Dripped up in a different different swag today. 
coming in onto this one. Wes, oh, wow. so far, keeping this one even oh. down to connects. Use doesn't have the movement, and Wes is going to get the first stock. And that was, that was quick. That was about 30 seconds into the map. You're already seeing Wes get a stock. Use. I don't know. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see that moment where he pops off where he really brings things back here. I feel like Wes has been playing more confidently, but Yuz isn't playing, like, scared necessarily. I just don't feel the, the same amount of oomph that I'm feeling from Wes right now. Yeah, for sure. Yuz is... It just feels like he's playing from behind, which, like, objectively he is, but he also has, like, the energy of somebody who's like, I yeah. don't want to get hit. Because I think that's a, you know... Just a shout out Moonier. I think that's one of the reasons that made him so unpredictable is that he'd be behind and then playing like he was winning the entire time. <laughs> and that would really trip people up. But Yuz, I think, plays a little bit more of a methodical, calculated game and approach, especially to the way that he plays Sword and Orb. Uh, but Wes seemingly not having too tough of a time right here. How does he get this weapon? Nice. He waits yeah. for the whip from Wes, yeah. gets the pickup, and a little bit of damage to boot. So not bad, all things considered. Yeah, Perfect dodge. All right. Comes down with that side air. Doesn't go for more there. Instead, Wes able to trade back and forth. See, this is why I love lands, too, because just the crispiness of some of these dodges and the timings that we're seeing is so hard to try to achieve online, man. But these guys are locked oh. in. Beautiful response from Wes there on the reaction. Tries to get a little bit more damage. You oh. got to burn again. Nobody get away from this stove. Oh. Get away from this stove. Stop putting your hand on the stove. It's hot. It's too hot. It's glowing red, and Wes has one stock left to take off of Yuse before he's up 2-0 over the current world champion. Oh, Yuse wants that down light. Unable to find it. Can't get the M light either. He's trying to go for some reach now. He understands he needs to do something larger to have a comeback into this game. He has stage positioning here. Can he keep Wes off to the side? Wes uses the side air to mix up his drift coming down, and it totally catches Yuse unaware. Down Sig leads to the recovery. It will be the KO. Use has his pick a weapon. So far, the sword's been the one that's doing more work. Yeah, he's going to stick with it. Okay, now the question is, can he get a game on the board here? Because Wes is playing confidently. Here's an opportunity for Use. He's doing a good job of at least trying to stay close to Wes. I don't know so much about the accuracy of some of these light attacks. And speaking of, this one right there, Wes capitalizing yet again in the orange, and he's off stage. Gotta look out for that down sig from Wes. I'm just gonna let it rip just because yeah. you keep running into it, right? He just does it, because why not? I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, I feel you. I'm in the same brain space as Wes right now, but on the side of use, you have to do all the, the, the mental math to get around it. Yeah, you gotta figure out the timings and get in and out around Wes's yoga fire right now. Goes in, gets that neutral air, but Wes gonna make the swap over to the ax where he's gonna hit hard, down sig, not gonna connect. Oh, he's disarmed. Okay, hold on. Okay, man, it kind of takes a moment there to say, hold on, I just saw West burn to dodge. I'm an iron. I'm going to go for it. It says, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to go grab this sword instead, and I think that was the right decision. And light's not quite enough, but oh! more. Oh, the weapon throw. Hold on. He Did still he has, has a recovery. No. He still, no, he doesn't. All right, he got sniped. Sniped so good. I mean, Wes, hey, he was up in the head-to-head. -head. Barely, but he was up in the head-to-head. -head. He's about to be more up in that head-to-head -head <laughs> with the way this is going. Currently up 2-0 over Yu's, about to knock our world champion out of the podium here at the Mid-Season Championship, and it's all off the back of this Dalsim. And I do really want to go back to that one reaction because that one, like, legitimately blew my mind. He did the side light, wait, and saw the dodge down and then hit that side air, and I was like, bro, okay, you're locked in. You are, you are playing. Cause that's, I always say there's like two ways to play Brawlhalla. Uh, and when you are locked in, that's how you play. You know, where like you're hitting someone and then you're relying on your reactions to what they do out of disadvantage from your hit. And then just making sure that you line up your next hitbox correctly. That's where Wes is. The other way to play Brawlhalla is you kind of have your kind of like muscle memory set play that you've done for playing the game over and over. And you just try the thing that you think is going to work. And that works sometimes. Or sometimes you just get kind of bodied like Wes is doing a use right now. His gauntlets are really lighting up Yuse. All right, good movement coming out from Wes, even utilizing that soft platform. Yuse trying to find a way in onto Wes right now. This is so interesting to me, too, because I'm like, at this point, Yuse has been almost exclusively sword. And I'm like, if that's the case, is is Alucard really necessary? You know, I, I don't think we've seen much of that orb in recent time. And at, at that point, it's like, well, maybe, I mean, who cares? Because at this point, <laughs> he has to win with it, right? <laughs> Otherwise, that's going to be it for the bracket longevity. Yeah, I mean, he's he's in shoulda, coulda, woulda territory, right? Like, it's they, there's uh, no other options here, because this is game number three and uses down two. 
also down in the damage department. West doing a really good job staying just above those downlight approaches from Muse. Oh, no way he was oh. able to get the end light on the other yeah, side of the players crazy. there, isn't it? <laughs> that's ridiculous. And Muse definitely running out of stuff Three. here. Okay, on the very last exclamation point, man, just to find a way in. Probably gonna see an end sig in the near future. Any fans of the down sig? West not high enough with that side sig. Did get past that neutral sig from Muse. He's likely going to be looking for a recovery setup, but Yuz with a couple more side airs could take out Wes. Oh, wow. Beautiful Wonderful. weapon throw from Wes. It creates this opportunity for the turnaround, and Yuz has to burn the dodge very early there. Because of that, Wes knows he can go out there for the gravity cancel sidelight without contention or fear of it being dodged. Great play from Wes to go ahead and turn things around. Yeah, that's twice now where Wes has burned a lot of Yuz's options, hit him with that weapon toss, and then gone out there unarmed to get that last little bit of a hit to deny the wall touch and get that KO. Oh, man, Wes. I mean, still pretty damaged here. That side air hits off the stage, so it's not going to be enough to KO. The weapon throw is not good enough either. But, I mean, at this point, yeah, you get even an end light maybe in the corner with this orb. It'll be enough. But he's probably going to start fishing out the falling side airs, looking for something here. Ooh, weapon throw. Push him to the corner. I'm with it. I'm with it. Another weapon throw. All right. End light will KO, too, on the sword. Go on, oh, from down. side to side, though. That's kind of fly. Yeah, he's like... Maybe not from that distance. Not from over there, you know? All right, not going to go over the corner for the down air. Instead, just waiting here. Nice toss nice. on the recovery. Will connect. Didn't drop it on that one. Staying even here. Has his pick of weapons. He's going to try to go in with the orb. All right, let's see it, because we were just talking about that orb earlier, right? It was like, we ain't seen much of it. What, what does it have to bring to the table here? Throwing out some safe jump down air is really hard to punish. A lot of spacing on that as well. But then West finds a way in. Yeah, oh, he was man. sweat beating as he came back down. OK, okay double there. Didn't go for the recovery there. Saw that West was going to come back down too fast. I like it. So far, I mean, the orb's doing okay. Gets caught by a side air right there. I think the great affordance of this character is like, it's kind of like playing Caspian. Um, but instead, you have two really strong neutral-based weapons, right? And so, like, if you want to play a neutral-based game, I mean, this is, this is the perfect legend for that. Orb, sword, really hard to punish in the neutral game. They're slowing it down. Yeah. They're really picking and choosing now. Obviously, Yuse knows what's on the line here. Two stocks left in his tournament life. But on the other side, Wes is like, well, I can't rush this. Otherwise, I'm throwing away a game. And that's one of those weird spots to be in, right? When, like, you are up uh, as far as game count goes, and you can see your opponent slowing things down, and you kind of just have to let them sometimes, because otherwise, then you're going to be rushing toward them, and then it makes it easier for them to come back. And that's exactly what Yuzu is doing. He's icing them out. And let me tell you, icing out your opponent is a perfectly viable strategy. I mean, North American knows. I ain't got to name names. North American knows. Yeah. The, the, I think almost every North American has played against someone in bracket who will ice them out. But uh, I'm really thinking about maps right now. I think that's what this will boil down to for Wes because, like, longer walls on this map means that his down six, like, he hasn't done them on this map, really. And then also there's just a lot more uh, flat ground where Yuzu's been able to back away from him. Oh, now I'm thinking about that now, too, as I'm looking at Wes uh, really struggling to come back into this game. Just needs a recovery or a D-Light or something. Hey, on, okay, so if we have the Axe, yeah, we can start throwing out these end lights, D-Lights as well. But I mean, look at the way Yuz is moving. This end light's not going to be enough from center stage. The weapon throw goes high. Yuz narrowly manages to avoid it. But this is starting to look like, I mean, you're already in the orange on your final stock. Definitely not out of the realm yeah. of possibility. It's definitely not impossible. We've seen Wes, uh, I mean, even I think in the last game, he took that first stock so quick, but he's on the gauntlets now against Hughes. Hughes, there's the dodge out. He's going to avoid that recovery. And Hughes is like, I need to get back to center stage. Uses that platform to refresh some of those options. And there we go, just like that. Wes also trying to kind of win this tug of war for center stage as well. Manages to find these nares. And has been going for the gravity cancel and light every single time. He's trying to get as much guaranteed damage as he can. And he's brought it back pretty much at this point. Use hasn't hit him enough times. Yeah. Oh. Missed the weapon throw, though. And yep, that recovery is going to help Use get back up onto the stage. But man, Use took a lot of damage there. Wes, he could put this one away. Oh. No dodge from Use. Oh. That was scary. This could be really bad. He used it so much to go ahead and get this lead, but now it's anyone's game. Ooh, and he tries to go for the gravity cancel side stick as well. Yu's gonna hit that recovery. It's not gonna be enough when he gets disarmed. Ooh, he's riding out. Just, uh, just the unarmed side air. It's like, where's the spawn? Where's the spawn? He goes for an unarmed. He's crazy. 
missing stairs, both of them trying to go for it. Dodge and slow it for the gravity cancel sideline. Talk about reactions. The perfect timing. Not only does he dodge the weapon throw, but he gets the sideline punish all in one fell swoop. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Wes was about to make the comeback. Use, I mean, had such a large lead going into that final stock. I, I started I started losing yeah. hope. I think I think a lot of Use fans were sweating in that final moment, but he hit the god mode and got that perfect spot dodge, then canceling to the sidelight. That was uh, incredible. That was wild, man. This is why you don't play games with people who shave a little part of their eyebrows. You know, they, got, <laughs> they, they got that beast within them, man. Use is ready, ready to bring things all the way back. We might even go to game five. We'll see. We'll see. So far, Use at least able to get one on the board, and we still sticking with this Alu card. Oh, he's working that vampire on the uh, honestly kind of the vampire map in my head because it's all like red and spooky red. I agree. All right, Wes back to the gauntlets, but he's not getting the dodges that he wants out of Wes. Oh, that was a stuffed recovery there. Oh, and Wes goes for kind of a Hail Mary ground pound there, kind of understanding the risk reward. Super worth it in that situation, but Hughes doesn't fall for it and instead actually picks up, I believe, like a D Light Sarah zone. So good damage. Yeah, just a slight pacing advantage in the way of use the recovery. Not going to quite do it, but it does disarm West. This is a nice opportunity, but he throws out the end sig, and West is staying low. Oh, okay, throws it high. Oh, and actually lets that rip a little bit early. Might have been able, maybe, uh, to catch West with that down sig, but it's going to be fine. We're swapping over weapon. <laughs> He's getting tricky, and he, he tries to catch the landing with that down light. That was the correct play from use there. It's just so hard to kind of line that up properly. Yo, he brings the dodge, but man, Yuzu's giving a lot of respect to West. Did not want to get caught by a Nair on the approach down. Woo! Man, they are, they are playing the game right now. They are really trying. Perfect weapon throws. Not going to be enough, though. Not going to go for a grab. I'm just going to wait on stage. And that's something that I've noticed from Yuzu throughout the, the entirety of the set, right? Not really one to just throw out a dash jump, Hail Mary ground pound every now and then to try to mix things up. Always wants to stay on the stage. Just always trying to play a little bit more calm, a little bit more calculated. Yeah, he's playing it a lot closer to the chest. He's, he's making sure his feet are on the ground, and he's trying to make sure he gets all just the right hits. But right now, he's got that stock advantage over Wes. Where's the weapon spawn? Right on top of Wes. Oh, wow, perfect dodge against that side air. I mean, it is a slow move. Oh, whoa. Still active. Levinsky's. Oh, he lost the weapon, though. Makes it a little bit harder to get through, and just like that, West capitalizes by throwing out that axe down here, saying, yeah, I don't really have much to be scared about. I haven't taken a whole lot of damage, and you're unarmed. I should probably just throw out this move. Yeah, there really weren't a lot of vertical threats that Yuse could have had besides maybe the unarmed recovery, but I think West was confident he just stuffed it out in that situation. Ooh. And West doing a great job of breaking the mold with these weapon throws as well. Kind of caught Yuse unaware. And now at this point, the damage has once again been evened up. West with a slight damage advantage, but it's still anyone's game. Dude, West is doing this thing where he burns literally all of his in-air movement before landing down on the onto the stage. That is his neutral game. Is it's pretty floaty right now against use. And it's like. You know, a lot of the times the mix-up ends up being, when are they going to land on the floor? But for Wes, he's like, I'm going to use everything, every side air, every, yeah. you know, like, I'm going to make you have to work for it. And if you're used, you just have to be extremely patient, which he has been for the majority of the set, but it definitely does take a toll on you after a while. Yeah, it, it definitely takes a lot more discipline not to just want to swing when they get kind of close enough. This is scary. Next time Wes lands a sidelight, I think he's going for immediate recovery because of the way that Yuse has been refusing to dodge out of those sidelight setups. So we'll see if that happens. But so far, Yuse is like, weapon spawn, please, please, please. And Odin does not give him the blessing. It's on the other side of the stage, but he manages to pick up this orb. And we're right back in the neutral deep red for both players here. A little bit deeper for Yuse, though, and the recovery is going to be enough from Wes to take him out. Uh, just the raw recovery. Kind of recognized how Yuse wanted to play that orb game deep red. He was looking for a lot more of those dares to kind of just keep Wes boxed out, but Wes gets underneath it. And now Wes with the weapon advantage. Once again, one stock away from taking Yuse out of the tournament. All right, Yuse needs a D-Light pretty bad right now, and you can see Wes having a pretty good time just kind of camping around this platform as he waits for something to spawn. But Yuse does find the D-Light. It's not enough. He needs to find another one or just a raw recovery even, maybe a signature. We haven't seen a whole lot of those from Yuse. I don't know what options he's cycling through in his head right now. Another raw recovery still doesn't KO. The ceiling just too high. That has to be frustrating for Yuse right now. You're just trying to bring things back to even Stevens, and the game is saying, listen, man, you got to do your homework. You need a little bit more damage.
I think there's th that and the fact that like Wes is not giving him an inch. They keep playing this in-air game of chicken and uses hoping Wes will put, burn something so he can go in for that final hit. And Wes is just like, no, I'm going to keep floating around here. And you have to just choose when to swing. Oh, man, Yuz still looking for that final blow. Gets caught by the Nair yet again. Wes in hot pursuit. Wes is trying to get as much extra damage as he can. The end line's still not going to be enough. You can just feel the pain from Yuz right now as he's trying so hard to find these KOs, but he's not playing a character like Taros, where that end line, you know, is really going to just do the job for you. One more, maybe, will probably do it, depending if it's from side to side or not. Goes for the weapon throw, says maybe if I get some stage positioning, this will work. But no, can't get this stock off of Wes. Oh man, Wes with the sweat beads does throw out the neutral air, but he's getting hits onto this final stock of use. He Jeez. finally takes down that second stock with the sword neutralite, but look at the damage Yuz is taking compared to Wes, who's coming in fresh. If you're Yuz right now, you gotta pop off. Uh, that's the only answer, especially as this uh, Nair into end light connects from Wes, and then another end light. Oh, it's not looking great. He does the recovery on stage. That's extremely punishable. Wes does not take his life for it, though, but at this point, it's only a matter of time. Can you somehow, some way, find the magic option to bring him back into this set? The answer is no, as Wes takes him out 3-1 and secures himself a spot in the elimination finals again. Sandstorm. Wes is gonna podium here at the midseason championship, taking out our world champion. And now Wes is he's in that hot seat, right? He's in that position where he's like, if I want to win the belt today, I'm gonna just be sitting here putting my name on this seat. Wow, okay, this one's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting because I feel like Wes versus Sandstorm is one where I'm like, I don't really know how that's gonna go. My brain says I think Sandstorm probably historic.